We're back now with a staggering new report about a dangerous blind spot in our health care system. It concludes that every single one of us will get a wrong or late diagnosis at least once in our lives, and that can lead to very grave consequences. NBC's Ron Mott tells us more. This is one of my favorite ones. 12-year-old Rory Staunton dreamed of becoming a pilot, but a seemingly simple cut on his arm in gym class one day ultimately killed the New York City preteen, leading to a blood infection his parents say that was caught too late. Our son died, and our son died despite us raising our concerns that there was something wrong. We were told over and over again that this was a stomach virus. A new report by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine concludes misdiagnoses contribute to one out of 10 patient deaths, and an estimated one in 20 Americans seeking outpatient care is misdiagnosed every year. It's a wake-up call, researchers say, demanding more attention. One thing that we found is that diagnostic error is a much neglected area in healthcare, and we need to study it more to be able to do anything about it. The solution? Researchers recommend changing the pay structure for doctors to emphasize the time spent consulting with patients, elevating the stature of nurses who spend the most time with patients, and improve communications throughout the process. Always ask for the tests, and more than the tests, ask for some help understanding the tests. Peggy Zuckerman of Los Angeles says her kidney cancer was misdiagnosed as a stomach ulcer and now advises patients on how to talk to the doctor. Number one, know yourself and know your story. You need to know what brought you to the doctor, what were your symptoms, what you've done. Did it make sense was to you and did the doctor fully listen to you as you gave your diagnosis? We go on to major announcements. A call to decrease medical misdiagnoses, uncovering what's really ailing us. Ron Mott, NBC News, Boston.